Hey everyone, welcome back to Never Fake Gaming. I am playing Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, last episode, uh, where we last left off, I perfectly executed the mission that was planned by these children, despite the fact that they're basically the same age as my characters. We are elite mercenaries trained by the garden, uh, and we're known as seeds. Yeah, there's a lot of that in this game. Anyway, uh, we did so good we got an extra seed rank, but uh, the president that we were attempting to kidnap, well, wrong buttons, um, he was uh, he was a fake. He was a giant um, undead monster. Uh, he's defeated now, though. We, uh, we killed him. Uh, however, the real president is still in timber, and the forest owls are cooking up a plan. Renoa says, oh, good timing. We've come up with a plan. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Um, before we get into that, can I see your contract with Garden? Oh, sure. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> uh, uh, Zell asks, what's it say? Squall, dot, dot, dot. Blom Garden, hereafter referred to as Party A, acknowledges that Forest Owls, hereby referred to as Party B, as the hiring party. Seed. Here, oh my god, this is like a whole legal thing. Um, seed here after referred to as Party C shall dis be dispatched upon signing this contract. Party C shall be operate under the supervision. Dot, 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 dot. Zell says the hell? Did you later? Uh, Self says I don't get it. Oh yeah, that, that one's pretty confusing. Uh, when I told him I didn't understand it, he gave me a different one, says Renoa. Uh, Sid is such a nice man. Uh, what's this one say? Please cut to actual Sid talking. If this is that part. To the floor, Sarahs! This seed deployment contract will last until Timber achieves independence. Please make good use of seed members. I wish you the best with your objective. Please understand that this is a contract is an exception, and no replacement of any seed members can be made. <laughs> Did Sid just expect Squall to, like, die? Um, Balam Garden Headmaster Sid Kramer. Oh, that's right, he has a last name. I keep just referring to him as Robin Williams now. <laughs> beep, boop, boop. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Sorry, this soundtrack. Uh, until Timber's independence, Selfie says, that is so vague. Uh, yeah, that is like, that is like the worst contract ever. Hey, you're paid professionals, no complaining. <laughs> That's it, Squall and his team get one job and they spend like the next 50 years doing it. It's trying to free a, c a city from occupation. Uh, Renault says, okay, let's decide on the parties. Uh, obviously here guys are gonna back out. Uh, Watts is an info gatherer. Uh, Numb Nuts uh, just gets stomach aches. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, so of the four of us, the ones who will be heading to this TV station will be... Uh... Is Squall currently poisoned or dying? What the hell is that? Uh, I like how they're like, Quistus is still... Quistus is still a thing. But like, the game never really acknowledges that. Except for the fact that she's in your party member, just like, kind of broke ass there. Does everyone still keep their freaking status things? Uh, junction exchange. How do we do junction exchange? Junction exchange. Selfie. With Renoa. Change current o HP? Yeah, we're gonna change that. Uh, does it change all their magic too? Because if it doesn't change all their magic, I'm in, I'm in big trouble here. So she follow Yay, Renoa's in my party now. What are you up to, Selfie? Not that I dislike Selfie, but I figure I might as well change it up. Um, and I need Zell for things like his limit break duel. Zelfie says, ta da 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 da. She's an elite trained mercenary. She graduated with us. One second, guys, while I just make sure everything transferred over when I switch junctions. Okay, I'm back. I did my best to patch everyone up and make sure everything's working okay. And I'm, uh, I have no idea where we're going. Uh, the game sort of comes back to me in, as I do it. 
Uh, the TV station, sir. It's quite close if you take the local train, but the local and transcontinental trains have stopped running, sir. Nothing to worry about, sir. Oh my god, he's, I'm just skipping every time he says sir now. Uh, there must be someone in town who knows. Uh, are you ready to go? See how I changed that? It says I was quick on the fly. Also, I, I paraphrase things as I read them in general, so it was no big deal. Best of luck! I'll keep watch here. I'll be keeping watch here. See? Reading? Not not my fundamental strong suit. Uh, Galbadian soldier. A guy dressed as a cadet gathering information? What in tarnation? Uh, he was asking about the president's day. I found it strange that the cadet would keep asking about the president. He was very polite and kept addressing me as sir. Jeez, I wonder who that could be. Uh, I think I know who you're talking about. He was taking care of three suspicious-looking characters from Balaam. Uh, I'll go question every teenager in the area. See, this is why you can't have defined speech patterns where you just add sir to the end of every single sentence ever. That's how they knew. You know, that, and he probably wasn't very good at being a cadet at any rate. Um, ahem, these are citizens, we can't inflict any. How dare they try to kidnap the president? Not only is it dis disrespectful to the president, but also to us Galbadian soldiers as well. Uh, I'll be sure to find them and throw their sad behinds in jail. Could we not say I guess we couldn't say asses. Although this was a T, wasn't it? This was a T-rated game back then. They had ratings back then. Yeah, no, they had ratings back then. Wow, ah! Uh, please hear me out to the very end. No, nope, they're gone. Your troops do not respect you at all. Yeah, I just realized I just used my items to heal everyone, but I could probably just have, like, run into an inn. Uh, say, I remember now, guy. I think the TV station is located behind a building called Timber Maniacs. Uh, please head to that direction, sir. I hope you find it. What? Come on. The Galvadian soldiers are coming. Uh, I guess you won't be needing in any or I'll seize blah 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 blah. So basically, we're we're in uh, sort of a puzzle mode. Uh, we can't leave here because the continental trains are gone. Uh, what I was looking for, though, is the pet shop. What could we buy? We could buy nothing I can afford. These are all quite expensive. Uh, magazines for dog lovers. And then all these scrolls will teach uh, Guardian Forces the basics in case any of them end up without the basics. I think maybe a couple of them do, but at that point you shouldn't really need them. However, there are there is an item to teach every single summon, every single thing. Uh, and once again, you could pretty much get them all through exploiting the card system, except for one thing you needed the Japanese... What was it? It was like a little... Uh, see, back in the 90s, kids, we had these things called Tamagotchis, which were these little LED, like, pets on these little screens we carried around, uh, and we had to feed them every five minutes or they'd die, and most of us got them confiscated in school. Anyway, uh, let's go into the menu by hitting not start, which I do every single time. Uh, but anyway, there was a little Tamagotchi, uh, and that would give you the special ribbon item, uh, to teach your, uh, Guardian Force ribbon. Uh, where are the items? I don't think we actually have to click them. Pet Pals! Uh, Invincible Moon! Um, yeah, so, uh, when you read these little magazine things, Angelo Strike! Uh, Renoa will learn, um, some fancy new... I guess they're kind of... Because they're not necessarily limit breaks, I don't think. Because I feel like some of them can automatically function without her doing anything. Uh, however, we do have to go to Stratus. Nope. I'll find that button eventually. There we go. Alright, so she's learned Angelo Rush. She's learned Angelo Cannon. Uh, I think it would be prudent... Uh, or something, some word, um, 
to learn Angelo Reverse, where Angelo can kind of just run in and throw a Phoenix down on someone. It's saved my butt before, it's come in handy. So, anyway, off to the races, let's, uh, let's explore the rest of Timber, now that I've showed you how Renoa's dog works, because the dog is mechanically with us all the time, even though it's, she said, stay behind, so she, it wasn't with us before. I've pointed that out, I think. Uh, all right, so there's Timber Maniacs. Uh, we can go in there. I believe if I had Encounter None turned off, you could just run around here and run into soldiers. Hello, lady. I really just tried to talk to her and ran off screen. That was so dumb. Boom. 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 Mouth noises. This is ASMR. Never fate. And that's not mouth noises. Just. All right, so... Uh, hello, what can I do for you? Uh, I want to take a look around. We just want to look around. Oh, okay, go right ahead. This is, this part makes no sense. There's a lot of old magazines. Hey, uh, these are the battle series. I've read all of them. Received girl next door. I forget that is a key item for someone or something. Uh, more, see, that's why you always got to click around. I know somewhere in here there's also, if you had... Uh, reveal item or something. Uh, you would. There was a draw point somewhere around here. What? Uh, did you say I look like an artist? As a matter of fact, I am. Uh, I, I didn't say anything. That's that's weird. Uh, oh man, why do battle series books sell so well? We're sure living in a terrible age. What are those though? Um. About Timber Maniacs, okay, well, you know, the name of the company is Timber Maniacs, we're a publisher that was established 20 years ago, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, yeah, alright, so, the reason all of this is kind of in the game, uh, will become more, uh, significant as we progress. Um, as I said before, uh, one of the magazines, uh, way, like, a few episodes ago, one of the magazines you can pick up actually influences the story, and, and there's several of those kind of magazines throughout the game, and they're all related to Timber Maniacs, and they're all old issues uh, that have like a butterfly effect on this story if you read them. It's really strange, but we'll go into it later. I'm just letting you know why this is all here. Uh, but the times have changed, blah 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 blah. Renault is just like sitting, squatting down, not even listening. I just want to look out the window, man. This is so typical. Adults reminiscing and talking on and on about the things they couldn't do or didn't do. Squall is a very live-in-the-moment kind of guy. Forget about the past. Uh, he hates it. He hates reminiscing. Uh, hey guys! A word of advice. You're still young. Don't let your life pass you by. Thank you. Thank that's I guess not at all. Not freaking at all what I wanted. Uh and he immediately kicked me out of the room. Oh, there's one of the magazines I was just talking about how it influences, but I don't remember how that one specifically influences anything. How the hell do I get over there? There we go. Um Should I look it up and see what it does? Or should I just pick it up? Ah screw it, picking it up. Because some of them are sort of like false flags. Um, not Well, actually, no. They all do something, but only some of them influence the storylines. The other things they do is selfie rates about the articles. All right, mofo. Can we look out the window now? About timber situation. Talk to the dream about Laguna. Uh, actually, it was too realistic to be just a dream. My friends have similar experience, too. Yeah, dreams are really strange, blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, this goes right back into all of this, doesn't it? Why did I bring this up, asked Squall. That's a good question, because it didn't reveal what I thought it would reveal. And it's gonna kick us right back out again. Uh, now he won't shut up about his dreams, this morning's dreams, yesterday's dreams, childhood dreams. You're gonna have to walk right back in here. Why? Why is this a thing? Don't let your life pass you by. I got it. If 
only I took that motto to heart 18 years ago, whenever the hell I played this. Alright, I guess you can't pick it up unless you have- Oh, you can, Blazaga! Uh, oh, right, Reno is still set to card. Uh, I don't know. Squall. Can't remember if this one ever replaces either, because uh, some of them don't replace, or some of them take, like, a quadrillion in-game steps, like running back and forth to uh, happen. I just want to look out the window. Alright, I'm just going to zip past uh, about Timber's situation. I want to see if there's the reveal here. Yeah, he's just going to, Squall's going to berate, like, Squall's going to be like, why did I talk to this guy? Alright, we get it, we get it. Just another stupid story. I hate reminiscing. You people and your memories and your lives. I am just here to do battle. Says says the guy that has encounter none equipped. Alright, so. The reason all of that changes everything. And the reason Selfie writes about the magazines you find when you read them. Is that Laguna is one of the authors of some of the articles. Uh, and I've wasted all your time, really, to just get to that, because I have no idea when they reveal it, and I was tired of, like, not revealing it. They fight a lot, but my parents totally get along. I can't wait to be the great guy I can scream at and exchange blows with. Wow, okay. Random NPC that whose house I just snuck into wants to go blow for blow with someone, and Zell sounds that, says that sounds, oh, I thought he was going to be like, yeah, but Zell's actually thinks it sounds really weird. What? You're welcome to the TV station? Well, we have no choice. The trend's already. Let's see. Three U's the way through the back alley of this house. Uh, the pub was built around the time they stopped broadcasting. We haven't used the back alley too much since then. Why don't you look through the blah, 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 blah. You know, I wonder if I could have just walked back there or if I need these people to say these things. I'm so used to doing it that way. Oh, this is how we look out. Looking out the window probably subtracts 50 seed points or something like that, because God knows why. Oh, hey, it's a save point, and a dude, and a cat, and the back of Squall's head. All right, see, that's what I thought was actually in the other place as well. It's, it comes and goes. My memories are really specific, and then... Did that kid just ram his head into the wall? What? Oh, he was doing a handstand. Hey, you at it again? <clears throat> How many times have I told you not to take money from people? Even if they're just random strangers that walk into our house without, without identification or child soldier mercenaries. Oh, sob sob. I reduced the price from 1,000 gil, though. Twice. Right, without voice acting, they have to write. They have to give affectation through spelling. You don't have to pay me, although they didn't have to write you, because that's just bad, like, internet. What are you reading, kid? Give me your books. Alright, I didn't care. I didn't really read that. Can we talk to the cat? Alright, I'm sure if you look out the window, it's like plus 1,500 seed points that time, because things are stupid. Can I go through your cupboards? This is a role-playing game from the 90s, after all. A JRPG. Could you imagine if someone just walked in your house and be like, Hey, can I look out your back window? That'd be, like, super helpful. I'm sure these people have something to say. Also, all these NPCs I've walked past, almost all of them are, like, actual people you could challenge in a freaking card game. Uh, that was too easy, man. Hee <laughs> hee, for a country bumpkin, he sure had some good stuff. You better ease off a little. These timber hicks hate us enough as it is. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> Let's get him! You know, I really should have just left, like, Squall and Zell in low health. I have no idea why I healed them. Uh, cuz most of these combats are just gonna be- do you have anything? You have Blizzard and Cure... we're just gonna attack, attack. Oh, right, okay, so, they were not very tough at all. Still, it's always important to check people for draw, uh, because they might just have like a- Oh my god! 
Why did they give EXP? That was so bad. Was it? Oh my god, I thought they were... I thought... Oh well. That sucked. Next time I'll turn them into cards. How am I supposed to... How was I supposed to turn them into cards? They both died in one hit. Do I have to, like, unjunction my magic attack? Anyway, I was also under the assumption that they were... Not bosses, but they were an unavoidable sort of encounter. Cure! Uh, Renoa can't freaking draw. I, I can't, I can't, I can't. Uh, someone else will draw it, and I'll just trade it to her between episodes. Um, Squall stock fewer cures. Fewer cures? Fewer cure? That was not... Oh, you walk into that little booth? Tent. I should spend my last gill on a tent and turn it into more, more Curagos, but... Eh, I'll do it later. Okay, so, yeah, I thought those random soldiers would not give me EXP because they were part of the storyline, much in the same way bosses are, but... Zell gained a level, I'm not gonna sweat it. Uh, I've had enough of this city, I came from Dalit to have me a good time, and now... Trains are no longer running, can't even stay in a hotel because of some stupid official harassed by Galbadian soldiers, have my precious card stolen. This has been my day. This hasn't been my day. Those jerks. Okay, dude, wow, you're just expounding your life story very loudly in a bar, and that's weird. Also, we're children that just walked into a bar. Also weird. Anyway, we're also elite mercenaries. Uh, they think they have us, uh, they think they can use brute force to get anything they want? Hell, this town's a good example. Yeah. Everything's jacked up because the resistance tried to kidnap the president. Thanks to them, the trains have stopped. There's Galbadian soldiers all over the place. All because of them! Dot dot dot! Exclamation points! Blah 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 blah! Okay, we get it. You can kiss my... Hey! Oh, that's right! Having different characters with you in different situations makes different things happen in the story. This is back when games used to do that. Ah, I miss those days. Anyway, uh, you don't understand anything. The Resistance is fighting for Timber's future. They're all doing their best they can. It's the Galbadian soldiers and their leader who are at fault. Psh! Psh! I answer you with psh! And then we go right back to control. I always wondered what that thing in the background of the screen was. It's like a tiger that turns into like a weird... Like, person thing? Creature? Alright. What should we do? We should talk to him. Uh, we need to get through. Jeez, now I'm getting dissed by some punks. We literally just said we need to get through. Oh, uh, well, the Renoa kind of started with you, but Tell him about the card. Jeez, I wonder what those cards are. Why he was expounding about them. Or expositing. Or espouting. I think I just mixed up two words. Do I do that a lot? Um, is this your card? Huh? It is. Why do you have it? Found it outside. Are you serious? Okay, thanks. You know what? I'm feeling generous, so you can keep that card. And also this one. I'll move out of the way now. What? They were they were your prized freaking cards. Hey, owner, I can't stand up. Can you help? Oh, wow, he's like pissed drunk too. Why was that not written in slur speech? Like slurring speech, not like him shouting obscenities. Uh, alright. Um, I'm sure these people could also be played in the card game. I'm sure that's the only reason they exist. The scary looking... Mean owner of the pub? Did you hear that from his wife? The owner's actually a mellow guy. Well, I didn't hear anything, um, person. Whoa, hick, I'm totally wasted. There we go, there was a hiccup. All right, I don't know why I talked to him twice just then, but I did. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed me, um, mostly just walking around the city for a while, uh, and fighting two whole enemies, cause hey, that's Final Fantasy VIII. Maybe I'll fight some stuff in like a later episode. Don't worry, things are going to get more dramatic. Anyway, thank you for watching. You can do all that youtube -y stuff for me if you want, if you like. I'm trying to expand. I don't, I don't really, I don't know. Uh, oh, hey, it's those two little kids that are just ruining my intro because I literally stepped forward instead of logging out and, or signing off. And now they're talking about playing tag and getting, I don't all right guys come on you're ruining everything screw it i'm leaving i'll see you guys next episode bye